Saturn One 1B Quarterly Film Report number 24 covers progress during the period April, May, June, 1965. Highlighting this quarter was the successful launch and flight of the ninth Saturn I SA-8 and the equally successful orbiting of the second meteoroid technology satellite Pegasus B. By the beginning of the quarter, the launch vehicle had been erected at the Cape and was being tested. On April 10th, following preparations for shipment, the service module and its adapter for Apollo boilerplate number 26 was flown from Marshall to the Cape. Meanwhile, final checkout of Pegasus B was completed at Hagerstown, Maryland. Following checkout, the satellite was shipped to General Electric for vibration tests April 13th. Two days later, Pegasus B was shipped to the Cape. In mid-April, Pegasus B underwent system checks in Hangar D. Following testing, the satellite was mated to boilerplate number 26's service module and its adapter April 27th. On April 28th, the spacecraft was moved to the launch pad and erected atop SA-8. Erection of the command module followed immediately. Flight objectives of SA-8 were to provide and evaluate meteoroid data in near-Earth orbit, demonstrate launch vehicle iterative guidance mode and evaluate system accuracy, and test a closed-loop guidance system for the fourth time. Pre-launch checkout of SA-8 progressed satisfactorily. Countdown demonstration testing was completed May 21st. Countdown began two days later. Vehicle liftoff occurred on May 25th at 2.35 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. SA-8, the first vehicle to use a Chrysler-built booster, was the ninth straight successful Saturn. The first stage burned for 148 seconds and separation was good. The second stage burned about 474 seconds, obtaining programmed cutoff velocity. Stage performance was satisfactory. The Apollo Command and Service Module jettisoned mechanically and the Pegasus wing successfully deployed. Pegasus B's roll rate was 6.6 .6 degrees per second as compared to Pegasus A's roll rate of 9.8 degrees. Pegasus B, like its predecessor, is successfully obtaining information concerning quantity and penetrating ability of meteoroids in the near-Earth orbit. The remaining Pegasus satellite will be launched by SA-10, which throughout the quarter has been undergoing preparations for launch. At Marshall's Michu operations, preparations for shipment of S-110 continued during April and May. On May 26th, the booster departed via barge for Cape Kennedy and arrived at the site May 31st. Two days later, it was erected on the pad and pre-launch checkout was begun. S-410 was removed from storage at Sacto, then loaded aboard the Guppy and flown to KSC, arriving May 8th. Following checkout and necessary painting, the stage was erected atop S-110 the evening of June 8th. Checkout of SIU-10 was completed in early April. Preparations for shipment of the instrument unit were completed April 16th when it was temporarily placed in storage. On June 1st, SIU-10 was delivered to the Cape. On June 9th, following checkout, alignment and painting, the unit was erected atop the stages. Pre-launch checkout of stages and components is underway. While pre-firing checkout of the launch vehicle was underway, Modifications were completed on Apollo boilerplate number 9. The service module and adapter were shipped from Marshall to the Cape June 20th. 
The command module and launch escape system were shipped on June 29th. Following mating with Pegasus, boilerplate number nine will be erected atop the launch vehicle early next quarter. Pegasus C electronic canister and thermal vacuum testing was completed at Bladensburg, Maryland, May 26th. The satellite was then shipped to Fairchild Hiller's Hagerstown facility for final assembly and functional checkout. Pegasus C was shipped to KSC June 22nd where it will receive pre-launch checkout prior to mating with boilerplate number nine. The launch of Pegasus C and SA-10 is scheduled for early next quarter. At Marshall, Saturn 1B dynamic testing of the complete vehicle configuration started last quarter was successfully completed May 27th. No major problems were encountered during testing. At the present time, changeover is underway to the upper stage configuration, which will allow simulation of S-4B flight conditions. Following completion of changeover next quarter, dynamic testing will resume. S-1BD has been shipped to the Mishu assembly facility for storage and such modifications as necessary for the Saturn 1B Centaur launch vehicle dynamic test program. In April, at Chrysler Michou, a failure during the S-1B structural testing revealed a spider beam marginal design. MSFC and Chrysler investigated the failure, resolved the problem, and modified the beam. On June 19th, the modified spider beam was successfully tested to the required 140% load. A major milestone in the Saturn 1B program was the static firing at Marshall of the first 1B booster. On April 1st, the booster, built by Chrysler, was successfully fired for a duration of 35 seconds. On April 13th, an equally successful long-duration firing was accomplished. The stage was removed from the static test stand and transported to Marshall's loading docks. On April 20th, the stage departed MSFC and arrived at Mishu four days later. Following completion of post-static modification, post-static checkout began June 11th. The checkout will be completed in July. The stage is scheduled to arrive at KSC in mid-August for use in the checkout of Launch Complex 34 prior to beginning pre-flight check. Also at Chrysler, Michou, S-1B202 pre-static checkout was completed April 22nd. On May 21st, installation of retrofitted engines was completed along with the necessary electrical tests and engine alignment. The stage was then prepared for shipment to Marshall, departing Michou June 12th, arriving at MSFC June 19th. S-1B202 is scheduled to be static fired early next quarter. At Michou, Chrysler completed assembly of S-1B-203 June 16th. Following installation, pre-static checkout of the booster started June 17th and continued throughout June. On April 5th, S-1B-204 tank clustering began with completion in early June. Assembly operations on the booster will continue into August. Fabrication of S-1B-205 major structural components continued through the quarter. On May 12th, assembly of the second stage adapter was begun with tank clustering scheduled for July 12th. Fabrication operations for S-1B-206 are also underway. The lower thrust ring was completed on May 14th. On June 28th, the barrel assembly was completed. Stage fabrication will continue through next quarter. At Rocketdyne Santa Susana facility, 200K H1 engine qualification testing begun last quarter was completed April 30th. The test program included functional and reliability tests of the LOX valve, turbo pump, and thrust chamber. Eight 200K H1 engines will power the S1B stage.
Another Saturn 1B major milestone was reached at Sacto when the final 1B S4B battleship tests were performed during May. On May 4th, a successful full gimbal, full duration firing was performed. On May 14th, successful environmental temperature conditioning tests were conducted. These concluded the Saturn 1B battleship program. Conversion of the stage to Saturn V configuration began immediately. Also at Sacramento, the S-4B facilities checkout stage underwent successful propellant loading tests at Douglas's beta test stand number three this quarter, qualifying both the stage and test stand. On May 1st, automatic loading tests were successfully completed. Following testing, the stage was removed from the stand and moved to an inspection site. No discrepancies were revealed during post-test inspections of the propellant tanks, LH2 tank insulation, and die checks of all exposed wells. The stage was subsequently prepared for shipment at Sacto and departed via water transportation for KSC June 10th, arriving June 30th. The stage will be used in the checkout of Launch Complex 34. Construction of the vertical checkout laboratory at Sacto is well underway. Erection of structural steel is complete and installation of handling and test equipment is underway. Following acceptance, the facility will be used for post-static checkout of S-4B stages after acceptance firing. At Air Research's test facility in Phoenix, Arizona, qualification testing of the fuel feed duct for S-4B stages was conducted this quarter. At Douglas's Huntington Beach facility, the first S-4B flight stage, S-4B-201, underwent LH-2 tank modifications, parts shortage installation, painting, and weighing. The stage was then shipped to Sacto April 30th, arriving May 6th. The next day, it was installed in beta test stand number three, where out-of-position installations and modifications were begun. Pre-static checkout began May 29th and continued through June. A major milestone will be reached early next quarter with the acceptance firing of the first flight S-4B stage. Major assembly on S-4B-202 was completed April 30th. Checkout started the same day and continued through the quarter in parallel with installation of late parts. S-4B-203 clip bonding is now complete. Installations in the LH-2 tank and component installation in the forward and aft skirts and thrust structure continue. Insulation of the LH-2 tanks for S-4B-204 was completed in May. Installation of helium spheres in the LH-2 tank was completed in late May. In early May at Santa Monica, S-4B-205 fabrication and assembly of the LOX tank was completed. The LOX tank and LH-2 segments were then shipped to Huntington Beach. Joining of the LH-2 and LOX tanks occurred in mid-May. Joining of the forward dome was completed in early June. LH-2 insulation is scheduled for next quarter. Assembly of S-4B-206 aft common bulkheads started May 4th. Work continued on the joining of aft and forward common bulkheads. Development and manufacturing of the S-4B's J-2 engine continued throughout the quarter. At Santa Susana, modifications to Rocketdyne's vertical stand 3A for J-2 engine static tests started last quarter, were completed in early June. Initial static firing occurred in mid-April. In order to improve manufacturing workload distribution, Rocketdyne transferred the J2 liquid oxygen turbo pump fabrication from Canoga Park, California to its Neosho, Missouri plant. As part of the flight rating test program, which was successfully completed on June 30th, six satisfactory malfunction tests were performed at Santa Susana this quarter. During these tests, malfunctions are deliberately phased into an engine to determine effect on performance and to see if a safe shutdown can be accomplished. The other flight rating tests, including altitude testing series, safety limit series, and malfunction series, were successfully conducted with engines 2002 and 2003. At Marshall, the first J-2 engine delivered by Rocketdyne 
was installed in the static test stand in April. It is being used to familiarize MSFC personnel with the engine. A second engine, delivered to Marshall in June, will be used to activate the stand. At Wiley Laboratories Huntsville, instrument unit vibration testing started last quarter continued through April and May. Tests revealed deficiencies in the mounting of components to the IU structure. Consequently, it was decided to bolt the mounting pads to the structure in addition to bonding. Additional vibration tests are underway to qualify the mechanically fastened mounting pads. At Marshall, assembly was completed in mid-June on the facility's checkout instrument unit. The unit was shipped from MSFC to Michou with S1BD June 19th, arriving June 23rd. It will be temporarily stored, then shipped to the Cape with S1B201 for a Launch Complex 34 checkout. Instrument unit structural testing began May 27th at Marshall. Testing revealed a necessity for minor changes in the IU access door, which have been made. Two series of tests have been completed with the third and final series to be conducted early next quarter. Assembly of structural segments for the second IU structural test unit began June 8th with completion scheduled in late July. Structural testing of this unit will verify the segments built by North American to be flown on SA-203 and subsequent vehicles. Work continued on SIU-201 with installation of inserts to allow bolting of all mounting pads to the structure. Component installation will be completed next quarter with checkout also scheduled for next quarter. Component installation is also well underway on SIU-202. Work is well underway at Marshall System Development Facility with installation of black boxes on IU simulator cold plates and scheduled vehicle hardware checkout. The breadboard is expected to be fully operational by September. Meanwhile, work continues toward activation of IBM's IU checkout station at Huntsville. At Michou, the second of two S1 checkout stations to be modified to the S1B configuration was completed in June. A summary of the Saturn 1-1B program from April through the end of June shows major accomplishments in all areas. The ninth successful flight of a Saturn I. Preparations for the flight of SA-10. Saturn 1B stage buildup. Acceleration of events within the J-2 engine program. And continued buildup of ground support equipment. During the next report period, additional major milestones will be reached, strengthening the established and successful 1 and 1B programs.